Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, it's great to see everybody again. How you doing, uh, John? Good, Art. I'm, I'm glad that everybody has joined us once more for Celebrating Act 2. And we have a special guest today. Oh, yeah. I've been um, looking forward to this for days now, uh, just anticipating yeah. this. Yeah. So uh, you take Tai Chi classes through a local community college called the Emeritus Program. Emeritus meaning kind of graduate uh, program. That's and a nice way guests, of saying old but not forgotten. And we're, <laughs> we're important. Our guest teaches art uh, through the same Emeritus Program mm -hmm. to seniors, actually to anybody who wants to join as far as I know. But let's introduce her. Her name is Lindell Stonick. Lindell, good to see you. Hi, Lindell. Hi, happy to be here today. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. At, at Lindell, you've been an art teacher for, what, over 25 years? Am I correct? Uh, with over 25 years for Saddleback College, um, but longer than that, I taught uh, for Irvine uh, Fine Arts Center before that and also for Saddleback Adult Ed. I also taught art when I lived in Europe. So, Yes, you know, well, that that's something I wanted to mention to folks that you have been an artist all your life. I, I venture to say we can call you a professional artist. You've been uh, drawing and painting since age 10, as I recall. Does that sound right? Long before age 10, but yes, that's when I won my first award. But I'm also, um, I was a Festival of Arts exhibitor in Laguna Beach, which is quite well known. That's another place a lot of people have met me from. Yes, that is. And that's a very prestigious uh, outlet or whatever they call it, exhi exhibition space. Yes. So I, yeah. I, I, I want to uh, take the opportunity to say that uh, uh, I got to meet Lindell online, not in an art class, but in a Tai Chi class. Yeah. And so you're learning all the time. And uh, somebody said, you know, this is really a fascinating person. And we got to speaking. And yeah, you are a really fascinating person. Uh, and the thing that I find so interesting is that uh, you work with a lot of people who are in their 50s, 60s and beyond who were never really never did any art before yet uh, you take them through the first steps and some of them become actually quite great or really accomplished artists uh, for any age. Uh, so what's that all about? How, how do you take somebody who's in their 50s and 60s and 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 introduce them to uh, an art form that they probably never thought they could do. Well, it's it's a privilege, to be honest. It's really a great privilege. Um, but I would say not just 50s and 60s, but 70s and 80s and sometimes even 90s. Um, we're open to basically any age. Um, and it's quite amazing because a lot of these people have never done anything artistic in their entire lives, not since grade school. And they decide to give themselves this opportunity either just to try something different or because they enjoyed art when they were a child and they would like to revisit it. And so they give it a go. And what's so wonderful is that a lot of these people um, don't recognize even that they have talent, but uh, with a little coercing from me, their classmates, um, maybe a little bit of luck and uh, who knows, they enter an art show and I've had a number of them actually win awards because just because they're a novice doesn't mean they can't be good. And so it's wonderful to see a lot of these people that give themselves the gift of painting or drawing for the first time, see them succeed and actually get recognition. Not that everyone does. I think the first reason you do it is you do it for yourself. And I think the most exciting thing is to be able to say, hey, look, I made this look like water. This actually looks like fruit, you know. Somebody can look at that and say, wow, that looks good. I'd, I'd even eat that, you know. Um, and that's a wonderful feeling because you're giving yourself the gift of your imagination, of creativity, and of getting in touch with yourself on a different level, um, kind of quieting down into a space where you can explore life on a, in a different plane, so to speak, your, your creativity, which is something we often have lost since our childhood. So to regain that is a wonderful thing. But and I, I, I the honor and privilege of helping people do this and find that creative spirit again. But you've taught uh, literally hundreds of uh, students theoretically without any art background or so little art background. Thousands, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And so 
uh, the vast majority wind up doing something uh, of uh, that is recognizable, or to let's say half the people just do things that it becomes satisfying, self-satisfying. Well, the the goal is the emeritus program basically is a non-graded program, and so uh, they don't have to worry about getting a grade. They're they're learning for themselves, and the criteria is comparing you know, kind of their own progress to where they want to go. Now, it doesn't mean if I've had students that wanted to paint like Da Vinci in the first class they've ever taken. And I told one student, like, maybe you're setting the bar a little too high. And uh, a couple of weeks, this was an eight week class, by the way. And a couple of weeks later, she went and did the um, Mona Lisa. And I was, I was taken back because I actually had to say, Next time, I won't discourage people because considering she was a brand new student, she did a very nice job on the Mona Lisa. <laughs> so wow. anything is possible if you just allow yourself to play, let go, and try. And, and my motto is that um, without a doubt, you will improve if you just continue. Without a doubt, no question, you will get better as long as you continue and you just don't give up. Some people see great progress in a short amount of time and others take longer, but I have never sure. failed to see amazing progress in people that just stuck with it and did mm -hmm. it for the joy of it, especially. Yeah, and that's a great message for everybody over 50, all seniors, no matter what your age, um, to try new stuff and just do it for the enjoyment. Just right. expand your mind and maybe your skills. There's... You're, you're also... You're also um... Uh, you're an accomplished artist. There's no question about it. People can uh, go to your website. We'll have that information down below and, and see some of the really wonderful uh, uh, pieces that you've created uh, over your lifetime but and continue to create. But you're also learning new things as well, aren't you? I never want to quit. Um, to me, that's part of being alive. And um, I have never stopped learning. I, my problem is kind of slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm taking a Tai Chi class. That's where Art, you and I met, you know, and that's been something I tried one other time, but decided to re-experience. Um, and that's been really wonderful. Um, there are lots of things I enjoy doing, and I have another sideline I do, too. Um, I have been uh, involved in alternative health for a number of years, so that's something I also uh, have studied along with this, um, with my art career. And uh, recently, I don't know, uh, I recently got certified as a health coach, which was last year, as a matter of fact. Wow, that's wonderful. You know, it's kind of, I, interesting, I, it's kind of interesting that um, uh, you and I met online during the pandemic, uh, taking uh, remote classes. And uh, while people mostly think of Tai Chi, a whole bunch of people in the park, where I used to practice all the time, and art classes, you go to a room someplace with a whole bunch of pastels and and uh, or, or or charcoal things, but the uh, you, you've been teaching online now for about uh, a year, a year and a half. Uh, how has that gone as far as helping people uh, uh, get introduced to uh, uh, art? Well, it's had a lot of benefits because we have students that are not as mobile or they lose a lot of time driving from class to class. I've been one of those people because not only do I drive to class to class, but you know, when I take classes, I also have to drive. So this cuts out the driving. Um, it makes things much more simple. You can do your art projects in your pajamas if you want <laughs> with a cup of coffee next to you. <laughs> it makes it very convenient. Um, and so that's one thing that kind of takes out a scare factor maybe that you might otherwise experience, but it also certainly cuts down on the time that it takes to get to, to and from class. And then um, people can watch, we often record the classes so they can watch recordings, uh, which means then they can play things back that they didn't understand, um, but they can see us there in their own home in the comfort of their own home. And so it's also broken a lot of barriers that we had before when people had to get to and from class and maybe they had mobility issues, for example, makes it a lot easier. Sure. Hmm. Now, Lindell, you teach all levels of art. You teach a beginning level, intermediate, and an expert level. And uh, I assume that people can move from one to the other. And what happens when you get to the expert level? 
what the, I find is the students just keep taking the class over and over again. <laughs> Some of them started with me as a beginner like 10 years ago or so now, and they just keep recycling and they take it over and over again. So uh, what you find out is that, um, you know, our, our classes in Emeritus are geared to students that repeat. So unlike on the campus where you take a class, you get your unit and then you advance to the next level. In Emeritus, what we do is we reinvent the classes with the same kind of curriculum so that it involves all the steps of things that you would need to learn. But we um, change it so it's interesting each time you take it. So there's always something new that you learn about the class. Yeah, right. and so yeah students people are constantly being able to hone their skills or if they were pretty good with this. Uh, well, did you ever think about, you know, doing the brush that way? I mean, I haven't taken one of your classes, but there's probably always new ways to approach the same issue. Well, why don't you put this on first and, and that on second or something like that? Well, right. And one of the things that I do to keep it interesting is, number one, students enjoy repeating technique because in a given semester, you can only go through so much information. So if they repeat it, they get to see the information but presented in a different context, which helps to expand you know, their understanding of that material or that technique. And so um, it works to benefit them. And I have students telling me, well, can you repeat that again? We actually enjoyed that. <laughs> um, so they actually want to go back and revisit some of the things I've taught before, even though they've been with me over 10 years, some of them. <laughs> sure. So you, you've really become a coach to a lot of uh, budding artists and, and a lot of actual artists. Um, it's a, it, I think that's an inspiring role to have. You must be... Uh, you must find it very satisfying. It is indeed um, heartwarming, uh, satisfying. It's uh, it's a connection with these people. I've been there holding their hand through COVID. Um, you know, I, and they brought me to tears a number of times just in their support too. And uh, it, it's been a great experience. I, I know that if I hadn't have been there, it would have been much more difficult for a number of people because I know it was challenging for all of us. Mm -hmm. And it meant more to me to be able to be there and be a beacon of light for them to get through this and give them something that gave them hope and joy to get through it all. And so I, I felt that was an, an important responsibility and I uh, wore that with a lot of pride. Well, you're, you're um, if people in Southern California uh, we'll, we'll get some information in the description below uh, uh, how they can uh, apply for your classes because uh, I know that you have a number of them at, of various degrees. But all over the uh, country, there are similar uh, classes for uh, people uh, over 50, uh, primarily, I think, through the community college systems. And uh, uh, I, th I think that they should be encouraged, whether it be art or Tai Chi or some other thing that you've never done before, try it. The worst that'll happen is you'll say, you know what, that's not for me. Or you'll say, where has this been all my life? Right. Now, before we go, Art, I want everybody to get Lindell's website because on your website, Lindell, you have lots of examples of your artwork and they're beautiful. And I, I noted when I went onto your website that you work in a bunch of different mediums. You do watercolor, you do pastels, you've done oils. Um, and that, from what little I know about art, which is very little, uh, that's very unusual because they're, the mediums are so different, aren't they? Yeah, that's yeah. one thing that I've been very gifted with my whole life is just being very diverse and having diverse interests. And so when someone signs up for my watercolor class, for example, and they wanna know about pastels, or they have an interest in doing that, or they've been trying it, I can tell them, okay, I know how to do this, so this is how that could help you, or this is what you could incorporate with it. I definitely have a very varied background, and therefore um, that knowledge I pass down to my students. Well, well thank that, you for that will also your be a service, great place, as they say. Great place to read your bio, uh, because yes. beyond, beyond everything else, you also worked in uh, making jewelry and things like that. So uh, quite frankly, <laughs> If you just want to be inspired by somebody who uses uh, their brain and their hands and, and various mediums that most of us never touch, uh, Lindell is uh, the person to speak to. Lindell, thank you for all that you do. 
Well, thank you. Thanks for having me here. It's nice to share this with everyone. I certainly hope they get engaged in some sort of program and, and at least take a look and see what's out there for them because there's so much you can do, so much you can learn. And to me, life is still just growing and opening up. So I hope it is for others too. Okay, great. Great to see you. And I look forward to seeing you in class. <laughs> Likewise. Thank you so much. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.